biggest, uh, venomous uh, collection out here in Mexico. So right here we have a black tail rattlesnake. This right here lives in a high humidity place out here in Mexico. The most dangerous and most venomous snake out here in Mexico. Hey, what's up guys? I hope everyone's having a great day. Man, I am super, super, super excited about today. As you guys know, I'm over here in Veracruz with my friend Hector from Union Pythons and we've been checking a lot of other people's breeding uh, collections, but we came to the biggest uh, venomous uh, collection out here in Mexico. He produces the most anti-venom and sells it all over the world. I mean, it's the craziest stuff. All the species are from Mexico. I mean, some of the stuff we've seen already is freaking insane. And he also has the biggest collection of spiders here as far as, uh, I think they're called the brown risk, uh, risk, uh, Hector? The, bro the, the brown risk, the violin spider. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know about these spiders guys really, but um, what, he, what, we, what we can't do is we can't show just by law over here, we can't show you his whole facility. We can't, it's because of laboratory and we're not allowed to show that. So what he is doing for us, he's gonna bring out a couple of the snakes, um, some of the most uh, venomous snakes out here in Mexico and show us he can't be on there again I'm gonna just talk a little bit about it from the stuff he showed me and told us about but if not I'm gonna have my friend over here Oscar you know translating a couple things here for us but um, guys I am super super excited and look at this man we're right here and we have a lot of you know Mexican beaded lizards but out here you don't call them Mexican beaded lizards because they're in Mexico they just call them beaded lizards right Hector yeah here's the Eloderma <laughs> Elodermas. and, and the, the name of the species all right guys well Let's get started. All right, guys. So right here, we have the second largest rattlesnake in Mexico. And this right here, I believe is a Croctolus simus. Um, and this right here comes from the Gulf of Mexico. But look how beautiful this thing is right here, man. It's the second, again, like I said, second biggest rattlesnake, guys. And I'm only going off of the stuff that I'm hearing here, but I also do know they're very calm. They're not as aggressive or, you know, as crazy as the other ones, other species that they have over here. But man, check out how beautiful this thing is, man. And as you can see, it's not even rattling or anything. That is just amazing. So right now, they just moved it for me so we can kind of see the rattle. So again, look at this, guys. How freaking amazing is this? It's a lot different, you know, playing with some of these compared to freaking ball pythons. I mean, these guys are no joke. Just simply, simply amazing. Man, guys, this is so freaking crazy. I mean, I wish I knew more about venomous snakes so I could talk about, you know, talk about them, like the real names and stuff like that. But, you know, I only know about pythons and a couple of corn snakes here there. I'm just being honest, but man, some of the stuff that, that they're bringing out is freaking insane. I'm gonna just try to get the word down, the names down right, so you guys can, you know, know what I'm talking about. But man, these things are freaking beautiful. All right, guys, now we have one that's a little more feisty than the other one. So right here we have a black tail rattlesnake. And this snake is actually very legendary out here in Mexico because if you guys know in the Mexican uh, flag, the golden eagle, he's picking up a snake. Well, this is the exact snake right here, which is the black tailed rattlesnake. So the same snake you see that the golden eagle's picking up on the, on the Mexican flag, this is the kind of snake that, that's on that flag. And this snake right here, um, it's not doesn't like the tropical areas over here of Veracruz. It's mostly like in the mountains of Veracruz. And, like I said, man, look how beautiful this thing is. Oh, and she's and she's actually what's it called in um in shed. So as you can see, it's not really showing how dark and you know beautiful her colors are. We all know that because we're pretty you know uh, used to seeing that with ball pythons. But again, let me see if I get a little closer over here. So freaking beautiful. That is just amazing. So on this one, I'm about to be a little more squirmish just because, as you can see, this thing is fast and it does not play around. So right here we have a Cantil viper, and this right here is alongside the Pacific coast over here in Mexico. But this thing is freaking beautiful, man. And you can see the two little straps that it has on its eyes right there. I mean, honestly, out of all the venomous snakes we've been seeing over here, this right here by far is my favorite one. I mean, not only because it's just super aggressive, but dude, look at this thing, man. This thing just screams fear. Again, this right here is a Cantil Viper. I don't know the name of it, how you would call it in English, but dude, look how beautiful this thing is. I mean, wow, that thing is so freaking insane. Let's take the little leaf out right there so you can see. Dude, look at that. I mean, the minute I saw this thing, I fell in love. Guys, I wish I was more like knowledgeable and um, and these uh, venomous snakes, because I would love to explain myself better because I feel like, you know, I'm really not, but I'm just really, really excited. And all these venomous snakes here are locality here from Mexico. And this gentleman here, man, he has all the venomous uh, species from Mexico and he does all the anti-venom and sends ships them out everywhere all over the world like i said he's the number one and the biggest uh what's it called um how would you call it 
Venomous uh, extractor dude. But yeah, no, play it out. But yeah, he has some crazy stuff, man. And he's gonna bring a lot more stuff here so we could see. And again, all this stuff is based here out here in Mexico. These are all the venomous snakes from Mexico. All right, guys. So right here, as you can see, we have the Mexican horned viper. Also, you know, it's a, it's a pit viper. Right here, they call this thing a torito, calling it like a small bull. This right here lives in a high humidity place out here in Mexico. Um, and they are arboreal. Look how beautiful this thing is, man. This thing, I mean, the camera is not doing it any justice. But you can see those two little horns on them right there. And look at this, dude. How freaking beautiful is this? I mean, this guy has the best job in the world. Look at that. Oh, and the plants are orchid plants. That's what they were just telling me right now. Jeez, look how insane this is. I feel like it's a freaking documentary. I'm out here in the wild. Look how beautiful. Again, the Mexican horned viper. Or like they like to call it, el torito. All right, guys, I am honestly right now tripping out. This honestly is freaking insane. It's unreal. It's the largest rattlesnake here, the West Coast rattlesnake in Mexico, the biggest rattlesnake here in Mexico, and it's a freaking monster. These guys get up to five feet. Check this out. All right, guys, here we go. Right here we have the West Coast Mexican rattlesnake, the Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. And look how big this thing is. It is humongous. Now these things get up to five feet. And this one right here is not too far from that. I mean, look at this. This thing is freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh, man. Look at the rattle on this bad boy. Again, right here, the Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. Can you imagine all the venom this thing must extract? This freaking thing. Wow. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna bringing out the most dangerous and most venomous snake out here in Mexico. This is the one that's cause of all the accidents and sadly some deaths out here in Mexico. This right here is now what's it called it now? Now Jacka. Now Jacka. Um, but it's also known as the fertile land snake and this one I can't get too close to because it's super aggressive and super super venomous But oh my gosh, man this thing Look at this guys Okay, so I'm gonna have to just zoom in a lot because Like I said, these things are fast and aggressive. So right here again. We have a fertile lance also known as a nadiaca And this is the one that causes most of the accidents actually all the accidents here in Mexico most of them But look how insane this is and guys, it is real, it's just not moving. <laughs> you can see right now if we get a little movement from it. See, it's moving its little tail back there, but man, this is insane. The most venomous and dangerous snake out here in Mexico. Oh, wow. So you see, it's mimicking kind of like the rattlesnake, you know, tail. See if it goes again. Wow, so freaking insane, man. To be this close to these type of snakes, man, it's just unreal. It's totally different, you know, how we play around with all the other snakes. So right here we have the jumping viper. Now this thing loves to live in the humidity of the high mountains over here in Mexico. And look how freaking cool this is. Kind of reminds me of a viper boa. I'd like to see. Again, I'm not trying to get too close because with the name like jumping viper, I don't want this thing to jump at me. Look how beautiful this freaking thing is. You can tell they're well taken care of. Look how fat they are. They're so freaking cool. And these right here are from Veracruz. Look how fat this little guy looks like a freaking slug. I can't tell you guys how I'm loving with this vlog, man. This is just freaking amazing. Wow, guys, that was freaking amazing, man. This was a crazy, crazy experience. Straight up another, you know, bucket list right off. Um, I wish I could introduce the guy to this or show you his lab laboratory, but the laboratory that it's just against the laws over here and you just can't do that kind of stuff. But he was awesome enough to show us the snakes out here. And dude, it's so freaking cool, man. I hope you guys like this vlog. We have some more crazy stuff coming over here. Um, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.